Hello viewers, Enjoy Tactics here, and today I have my Minecraft calculator to show you guys, and you're probably thinking, whoa, this is massive. And if you've ever built one before, if you've been crazy enough to learn how to build one, then you're probably thinking, oh uh, wow, this is really inefficient and large. And it is, but um, it was one of the first ones that I built that can actually do all the four operations. So, I'll be demonstrating some of it. Let's start with addition, a simple operation. And we have 1 through 15, or 0 through 15, because this is 4-bit, and I couldn't put any more numbers in or else it would be larger than it already is. So, we're going to add, and let's do um, 10, and then plus, uh, let's try 4. So it should be 14. And as you can see, we do get 14. And um, can do all the four operations. So I'm going to just show you one more time of it doing addition. All right, we can keep it on addition. And the numbers overwrite. You can input two numbers. They overwrite each other, so we can leave that up and put more numbers. 11. Uh, let's do 11 plus 3. All right, it's going to lag, and it's going to take some time, but that's okay. It will get us the right answer. All right, now let's do a different number. Let's do 14 and 3. I'm just picking these numbers at random. And as you can see, we get 17. All right, enough with addition. Let's do subtraction. And we can leave those numbers up again. Okay, let's do subtraction. We're going to do 12. Oops, I... Well, that doesn't matter. It'll still work. Okay, we have to input it again. 12. And you can tell when it's finished inputting because it will stop lagging the game. And minus... Let's do 12 minus... What do you want to do? 12 minus 5. It should be 7. All right, waiting, and it will change its mind a few times, but as you can see, it will get 7. Let's do another example, and I know this isn't too exciting. I, don't, I know we don't have, like, square roots or anything, but I'm still learning, and we'll have more exciting things in the future. So let's do 5. I always want to show the subtraction. 5 minus, and let's do 2. Should be 3. Alright, it's lagging, it's lagging, and we have three. Alright, on to the next operation, and I'd like it to be bright out, so we're going to set time today. Multiply, what do we want to multiply? Let's multiply some interesting numbers. 13, uh, no, we have to do a number that I'm very familiar with and that I can know that's correct. 12, and what else? Let's do 12 and 4. 48, and we want to multiply. Multiplying does take longer. Adding, I think, is the fastest operation on this calculator. But we will get there. 48, okay. 12 and 4. 12 times 4 is 48. All right, let's try two other numbers. Let's do uh, 4 and... And let's do uh, 10, I guess. So that should be 40. And these numbers are in no way rigged. I didn't set up these numbers. I didn't make it work for just these numbers. The entire thing works for any numbers. 40, okay. And as you can see, it does have some calculation time, but it does get the answer eventually. All right, let's do a more interesting one. I cannot confirm that it's correct, probably. Uh, actually, if I do 15 times 3, I know that to be 45, so... 15, and 3, all right, I think I entered that correctly, so it should turn to 45, I hope, okay, all right, 45, there we go, so after a little bit of calculation, 45 shows up, so as you can see, the multiplication works, now, we're going to do the division, 
All right, let's try division now. We're going to pick two numbers, two new numbers. Let's do 8. Okay. And then we're going to be dividing by, let's do 4. It should give us 2. 8 over 4. All right. Yes, okay. And as you can see, we do get 2. I was just checking because the inputs do take a long time to save the numbers, unfortunately. But it works, nevertheless. So, let's do another one. Let's do... Hmm, what are we going to do? Let's do the same number divided by itself. Let's do... Uh, 2 divided by 2. And it should give us 1. 2 and 2... 2 over 2 should be 1. <sighs> Alright, as you can see, we get 1. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a rating, comment, and subscribe. It took me many hours of several days to actually build this thing. It is ginormous, and it is really, really amazing. And it was my first calculator that does all four operations. And it actually completely works up to four bits. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. It did take me a long time. I would appreciate if you hit the like button. It inspires me to want to make more stuff like this. So, thanks and goodbye.